and welcome back everybody to another M07 production. Today I'm here with you with another Trails in the Sky. I am, we, we just reached chapter one. We just finally finished prologue. And we just started chapter one. Last time we caught up with the people that stole the crystal, the um, whatever it's called. Ethereum? I don't even remember. Uh, we caught them, got it back, watched them escape. Um, talked a little bit, found out our father has disappeared with an entire airship. And now we're about to go find him. Or, go look for him at least. Might not find him. Might find him. Might find him in many pieces. Might find him in one piece. And the one piece just may be where we find him. I hope somebody is old enough to get that joke. I know Jacob will. Until then, let's start getting into this. I understand the situation now. To be frank though, with Skizzard taking off after Cassius, I'm going to be really short-handed. But since this involves him directly, please don't worry about anything. I really appreciate this, Anna. Make good use of Ridge while we're gone. He should be able to deal with at least three times his normal workload. Don't you think that's a bit harsh? Don't worry. If things get too hectic, I'll ask for help from from the Grenzel branch. By the way, Skizzard, can I get a minute? I'd like to talk with you about the job you were going to do. Sure, no problem. So, Joshua, could, could I um, have you two wait upstairs? I'll be done in a minute. Sure. Not if we did it out in front of the talk clock tower. Sure. Run the clock tower. Oh, good. Means I could go shopping. Oh, maybe not. I just want to go shopping. Septum, that's the stuff. Septum calendar. Same as five. It's a partnership with the liberal royal family. Septum church in Roland City. <clears throat> the Hundred Days War in Roland was bombed by the Imperial Army. Very built with the cooperation of the citizens of Roland. Every time I see this clock tower, I always think they sure did did a superb job restoring it after the war. It can sure feel the spirit of Roland's people from this. <laughs> Joshua, do you think? Now, what do you think about going up with me and waiting until Scooter shows up? You mean the clock tower? Sure, I don't mind. Okay, come on. This is where she kisses him. I don't think that happens in Roland. I think that's somewhere else that that may happen. The morning air is so refreshing. Hey, look, Joshua. Uh, we can see our house from here. You're right, I can see the roof. What's going on since you've always avoided coming up here? I'm impressing you didn't like this place. I like this place, but just I just can't casually come up here. Because it's the place where my mom died. What? We both said what the same way. <laughs> Ten years ago, during the war, when the Imperial Army surrounded Roland, they bombed the symbol of the city, the clock tower, and tried to get the citizens to surrender. This was... At the time, Dad was fighting in the Royal Army. I wanted to see who he was fighting against, so I climbed up the clock tower. And when the bombardment started, I couldn't get away. <laughs> when I came to, I hardly had a scratch on me. My mother had saved me. I was wrapped tightly in her arms, shielded from the rubble. 
And as I cried, she sang my favorite lullaby. But they finally dug us free. After the war ended and this place had been rebuilt, I avoided coming here for the most part. It's not because I have painful memories of this place, though. I just... So it's just when I come here, a part of me wants so much to draw on her strength. Plus, I felt that I can't be strong like her if I'm always trying to rely on her. Still. But today is okay. Right? Relying on her just this once. Asking her to bring Dad home safely. Asking her to protect him. Of course it is. And don't worry, Dad's safe for sure. Your mother's protecting him, so there's no doubt in my mind that she's safe. And if he happens to be in a bit of a trouble, bit of trouble, then you can come to his rescue. Just like your mother did for you. You can do the same for your dad. Don't forget I'm here to here to help you too. Joshua. I know, I can't completely understand everything you've been through, but I can stay here by your side, as I am now. And if you need a shoulder to cry on, you're always, you've always got mine. Kieran thinks. So. Psst. Huh? Ha ha ha. Josh. Joshua, sorry. Trying too hard. You shouldn't say things like that so lightly. But what do you mean? If I were any other girl, I would totally have misinterpreted your intentions just now. You are seriously a type who's going to have problems with romantic relationships in the future. I'm already starting to get worried. Well, excuse me for trying to be nice. Yeah, I know, right? Why do you have to be like that when someone is genuinely worried about you? Thanks for cheering me up, Joshua. I feel a lot better now. I guess as long as I get some kind of thanks, it was worth looking like a complete fool. But you are unbelievable, mumble, mumble. Don't be so mad. I'm really thankful. Believe it or not. So you... So how about we get down from here, huh? I'm sure Scar is waiting for us. Probably right. <laughs> Mom, I finally realized why I wanted to become a bracer. So I could become strong and protect others like you. So please watch and see. I won't fail to bring Dad home safe again. Aw. Two of you had such a cute scene going on up there. My mind cheeks even feel a bit hot just thinking about it. What's that supposed to mean? Are you spying on us? Give me some credit, will you? I just happened to see see you when I looked up to check the time. I sure I wish I had an horrible camera to get a shot of that view. What are you trying to say, Scara? That's that's called family bonding. Pain and sim plain and simple. Pain plain. There's an ill in there. It's kind of like your habit of hanging sorry, hugging everyone after your third bottle of wine. Let's not get into that. What's with the sigh? <laughs> you really don't know how to take a joke, do you? Well, whatever. Did you say hi to Lena while you were up there? Yeah. I even asked her to watch over Dad. I see. Then I guess it looks like you're all set. I know Lena's protect protection is equal to that of the goddess herself. Your dad's safety is pretty much guaranteed. I think you may be giving her a little too much credit. Now that you mention it, you met Estelle's mother before, right, Scara? Yeah, when I was a child. I was still a 
still in a trophy? I don't know what it is at the time. Yeah, a trophy is a traveling circus scarer was a dancer. That explains a lot. Although it was a long time ago, we first met when she came to Roland with the circus. Twelve years ago, to be exact, I was 11 and Estelle was 4. <laughs> means Estelle was 6 when the war happened. Or at least when the accident happened. And because of that chance encounter, when I became a bracer, I trained under your father. <laughs> I didn't know that. Maybe I'll tell you about it sometime when I get a chance. Are you about ready to head for out for bows? With airliners cancelled, we'll have to make our way to bows the old-fashioned way, by foot. First, we'll need to make our way to the bridge checkpoint, which sits on the border of the bows region. The bridge is located at the west end of the Mulch Main Road. Mulch Main Road. Yep, I was already aware of that. It looks like we're all set to go. No, we're not. I gotta go shopping first at the Orbital Factory. So I put a air there. have an open slot already. I want to put a slot in there. Slot for you. Actually, got quite a lot in the yard. Enough to do that. Actually, can't do another defense. Have a mirage element. What? I can't stack them. I'm actually going to put that there. I'll hold on to these right now. I might give another healer. You don't have any open spots. Food. You sell equipment. I 
three of these would actually be pretty good. I'll do that. Ravens blind. I'll give you that. Shop, sale. Food. I wonder if there's anything I could actually cook. Or is there anything? Shop. Buy. Yeah, I could buy tier bombs. Abnormalities, whatever that means. Four of them already. Come buy me three of these. Do we have six of those? Let's see what's in the issue of... It's in the liberal news. Tracers of noon in their liner vanished over east Bose airspace while ruined. I'm missing. Yielding no clues. If y'all want to read this, please just pause the video because I am kind of skipping over a large handful. Probability of an accident is low. Hmm. So I can at least get to the thing. I am going to go ahead and make a save. Still don't know why there's two saves, but okay. I'm going to go with that. Um, another thing I need to do is... All... Her stats are not full, but why? I don't get it. I'm not even going to worry about it. Made me think. Items, bracer notebook. That's missing airliner. I still can't do that, can I? I'm just gonna hold on to what I got. the uh, checkpoint. Yep. I'm <laughs> just visiting it again. <laughs>
That's this room? I get past Yang. Careful if you have any at the Hicken Gate north of here. You might want to hide your identity as bracers there. What do you mean? Sorry, but I can't say any more about the matter. But if you do intend to investigate the incident, please do so with, with discretion. I pray to Adias that Cassius safe return. Or Cassius safe return. Okay. Still can't get through. To pass from the other side. It didn't close on me. Kind of wish I could point the camera down some. I just can't. Ah, let's go through. Nope. Okay. And what happens now? It's closed! Uh, I don't intend on going back. <laughs> Yet. East Bose Highway. Um, I think I'll go straight to Bose right now. Hi, what are you? I'm sure I'll find out sooner or later. I just don't want to fight you right now. I want to get the bows. So here will tell me that I don't really want to go to the valley. They don't seem hostile, so I'm just going to leave them alone. I'll run into one eventually, I promise. Ah, uh, probably actually watch that doesn't look fun to fight that looks like a snake I don't want to fight that I hate snakes <coughs> ah. At the Bose branch. Okay, well, I need to go there anyway. I'm going to have to be careful with um, resting now. Now I no longer have my house to rest at.
So a while back, I was talking to Alex about this, and of course I was also talking to him about, um... Oh! Oh! God! They tried to eat me! Talking to him about, um... This, his streams that he's been doing lately, we, we were just kind of discussing, and, um... And we were talking about how whenever he goes to stream, he normally already knows what's going to happen. Because he plays the games ahead of time. And then whenever whenever he, me and him were talking, I'm like, yeah, um, sometimes, sometimes that makes doing the stream a little bit difficult if you already know what's going to happen. I don't really tend to like doing streams or videos of games I've already played before. Um, not necessarily because I don't want to do them, but because it makes it feel less genuine, kind of, unlike reactions and stuff. And then he's like, well, what do you mean? I said, well, I've never played this game, ever. This is my first playthrough. I don't know what this is at all and I'm afraid to touch it because it may eat me and it may not I don't want to touch it though that thing wants to eat me I already know because it's already chased me once I definitely don't want to but oh uh, no he he for so he was sitting there getting on to me because I've never played the game how big is this place shit wow um there's the valley way over here. Again, no marker. Here's the valley right here. I can use my mouse, I guess. So there's the valley. Nope. Um, there's the valley. This right here is the other place. This is where they keep warning me about, I think. So. I'm not going up there. I'm going to bows. This looks like the edge of the city. Well, he uh, was straight up getting on to me because I'm playing a game I've never played before. It's like, well, how are you playing fish? I'm not. I'm just playing. It's just what I have. That's the Bose Market. Oh, good. So this looks like a, a place where I'll probably be buying all my shit. Straight to the market. Let's go shopping. I... Uh, do I want to talk to you? Uh, I do. Okay. What do you sell? Shop. Buy. You sell food. Got it. No camera rotation in this place. That aggravates me quite a bit, actually. Have to come way over here to talk to this person. You also sell food. Okay. Takes me out of the market, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Shop. Buy. Really worse for a spell, but better for the other two. But for a thousand mira each, I'll wait. It's unlikely to find. I wanted to shop actually. Buy, not sell. Buy. You sell sponge cake. Yeah, it really ends up bad. I'm gonna hold off on buying food, honestly. Shop. Buy. I mean, there, there's actual novels in this game? What do you sell? Shop. Buy. Oh. More strength, more range. That's... Straight up a upgrade. Oh, 
Um, I'm gonna hold off right now. You look like a potion shop. You are. Freeze and pure petrify. Poison, seal, and blind. Confusion, sleep, and faint. Huh. Interesting. So I know I need to go and find the um, Racers Guild. Found it. Let's see what else is here. What are you? Your bar. The hotel. Fine. The mayor's residence. What is this here for? Not what I meant to do. Okay. I'll explore the city a little later. Until then, this is I'm gonna have to call it here. This has been Metal De Metal Double Seven. Hope y'all have enjoyed this. Let me just go ahead and save. Go ahead and make two saves because I have two saves done. So, till then, I hope y'all have been enjoying this, and we will see you in the next episode. Have a good day. Bye.